about three months later. Sir Flowers was keeping an eye on Ruby, I mean, on Rapunzel and the others, but unfortunately, he slipped and fell, which unfortunately revealed him to the other. Ah, crap. At first, Rapunzel and the others had no interest on in trusting him, but... They ended up allowing him to tag along anyways. They were very close to the Dark Kingdom. And Sir Flowers can feel the Moonstone's presence. You definitely feel the sun drops presence out of Rapunzel, but wasn't quite sure. He needs to see evidence uh, where the where the sun drop, or at least the stone, uh, might be located at. So far as knew one thing, though, no matter what, he cannot let the moon start sun drop get away this time. What he'll do is that he'll grab have the moonstone first and find the stone on of the sun drop. If Rapunzel doesn't have the stone, then he'll have to take her or himself. Then he'll have to take her, her or drain her powers. So that way he can really get both things at the same time. Through the entirety of the journey, it was very difficult. But I'm... But fortunately, Sir Flowers was man managed to help the others to, to get to the, who, the Moonstone. But what Sir Flowers didn't realize was that Rapunzel actually has a crush on him. That was the only thing he did not know. When they arrived to the I, to the Moonstone, Sir Farmers was shocked. He wanted to go over there and grab it so badly, but he wanted Rapunzel to do the work for him. To grab, to form a bridge, and so that way he can go across without without revealing his true form. But there was one thing he did not want to reveal. It was his true form. He knew that Rapunzel came here with one purpose, to send the Moonstone and Sundrop back to the space where they came from. So Flowers cannot let her do this. If she succeeds, then all hope is lost. At the right moment, once when the little cage opens up, and Rapunzel is about to grab it, he'll grab it himself.
Once we grab... Once we has all of it. Get out of there quickly. Then... Eh, I'll head straight back to base. Leave the Moonstone there. Then come back for Rapunzel. Once when the Lakage opened up, the Force of Arms can even run over there and grab it. Cassandra grabbed it. This did not went out according to plan. Angelina's entire plan was failing. And it's like Cassandra was transforming. And just like that, Cassandra now is new. It's the person who is now holding the Moonstone. Sufaros was slamming his head on the ground multiple times. In his mind, he was screaming, No, 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 no! This cannot happen! This is not happening! This is not happening! This is not happening! This is the exact opposite of my plan, and oh my god, oh, I knew I should have killed or at least one of them. And that way there would have been less of a problem. But now, one of them has all of it. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, just, just grab her, knock her out, and then just take her with you. Straight back to Alice, come all the way back here, and come back for the long hair spaghetti noodle. Unfortunately, Cassandra and Rapunzel end up having a little conflict. Even though it wasn't technically a conflict, it wasn't technically a battle, it was just more like Rapunzel trying to reason with Cassandra to give the Moonstone back. Cassandra was not listening. Mainly because of her backstory, and so far as didn't really care about what her backstory was about. All he cared about was gaining the Moonstone and Sundrop. Before or the fiery movie did. And unfortunately, because of Cassandra's blind rage, she was actually managed to get away. Oh, you good frickin' you're killing me! That's what Sophia was thinking in his head. Rapunzel is just getting in my way. What is the connection between her and that stupid woman? There has to be a connection between her and, her and Cassandra. There just has to be a connection. Because now I just lost my best bet on getting in the moon zone. The, the group decided to travel all the way back to Corona. Which was so far was not very happy about. He was not happy about it at all. But he ended up learning from Eugene, her former ex-boyfriend, that her and Cassandra actually have a connection. That they're more like sisters. Well, best friends. And Super Fun Wars had an idea. While he was listening to Eugene's story about Cassandra and Rapunzel, 
this actually gave him an idea. A sort of weird, but twisted idea. So followers decided to contact Base and told them everything. Oh, you've got to be kidding me! At, at, don't worry, don't worry. I have a plan. You do? What's the plan? Well, I end up learning about Cassandra and Rapunzel's history. And, believe it or not, believe it or not, I'm going to make them fall in love with each other. Wait, what? Are you serious? Yes, even though I hate gay relationships, but I'm going to start one. Make those two fall in love with each other, and at the right moment, BAM! That power is mine. So, how are you going to do that? Do what? Make Cassandra and Rapunzel fall in love with each other. Because it, it can't just happen right away. I know, I know, so I'm going to mention a few things. Something a little romantic about them. when I do that, then I'll start making them, well, you know, think about each other a bit more often. And then, bam, I bet you, they'll start looking at each other, right, talk for a little bit, and if I'm lucky enough, if I'm lucky enough, they might do the thing. Is that even are you sure that might work? It has to. For all of our sake. I can whatever I can do, I'll have to do it. Okay, if you say so, Super Final Wars. But how are you intend to do that? It's simple. I'll visit them one at a time. Alright, well, we wish you good luck then. You're gonna need it. I think I might need it more than you think. But, I will see what I can do. And if it doesn't work, then I'll call you guys for backup. So, see you guys on the inside. I just hope this works. Just because if not, well, we're dead meat. This has to work for all of our sake. All right, here goes nothing. Back at the Fiery Movies base, is Lucas, David and Lucas were just reporting back to their master. Well, anything this time? Actually, yes, we have some very, very good news. Well, go on and tell me. What's the good news? Well, you see, things that I went out as Super Final Wars planned. Oh, and what exactly will that be?